Hello, um, to introduce myself, I'm Mr Driver and I am one of the assistant head teachers here at Oldbury Academy. This week um, I've been doing assemblies to the children um, and what I've been talking to them about is, is making mistakes as we all do as human beings and the importance of the word sorry when we make those mistakes and how we move forward after making those mistakes. I can't believe you said 21. <laughs> 19, closer. I was close to 19, but I wasn't 19. 18. 18, getting even closer, but I wasn't 18. 15. 15. I like you. Yeah, not 15. Oh. Not 15. 16. 16. Close, but not there. There's 17. a number that's in between. I was 17 years old. Okay? 17 years old, and I just done my GCSEs. I am in year 12. Okay? I'm in year 12. Let's do another one. We've got a new kid in town, Mr. Creswell. How old was Mr. Creswell? 1998. 21. You want some achievement points, you do, don't you? No, he definitely weren't 21, I don't think. I know. No. Is he 17 as well? 17. No. They're going the wrong way. Wrong way. Go. 36. He's <laughs> been in the gym this morning, be careful. Right, tell me. 24. 24. About that, we'll go with 24, put your hands down. Okay, 1998, okay, is a year I'm going to talk about um, today. I'm going to click, because when I was 17, I was told I looked like this man. <laughs> yeah? So when I'd go out, people would say, do you know who you look like? I'd say, no. Yeah? David Beckham. Was that person? Okay, I'm joking. Yeah, I am promise you I'm joking, yeah. Um, but my assembly this morning, I'm gonna talk about this man. 1998 was an important year for this man. Anyone in the hall know what happened in 1998? 1998. No, he was already famous in 1998. He was actually 21 years old. The World Cup. Anyone tell me what country the World Cup was in 1998? Oh, I don't know, but uh, did we get to the semi finals? Oh, not quite. Was it in 1998? Uh, begins with a F. France. France. Brazil? France. 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 Now, <laughs> my next question, yeah, begins with a F. Brazil. Ryan, doing good literacy this morning. So, it was in France, okay? It was held in France in 1998. Just remind me how old I was. 17. 17, okay? And at 17, I used to go to places I probably shouldn't have been, okay? I went to the pub to watch England play in the World Cup, okay? Now, England started off really positively. We beat Tunisia, and then we got Argentina to play. And this man, that game, anyone tell me what happened? He got red carded. He got red carded. Okay, so on my next side, it's required, and neither was that challenge on uh, Beckham. And Beckham, now whether Beckham accidentally smacked into the defender, Simeone, the midfielder, I don't know. But Beckham's holding his head. I think a yellow card is going to be brandished here somewhere, and it might be to David Beckham. I'll now, tell Shearer's you. telling Badastuta not to get involved. The two captains there. Well, Brian, it could be a red card. That's what that's what Alan Shearer is worried about. What for Beckham? Yes, because he retaliated. And it's a yellow card. It. Wait a minute, he's taking another card out for Beckham. It's a red card for David Beckham. Oh no! So Beckham is out of the game. Next slide. Next slide. Okay. Now David Beckham, he got a red card. David Beckham got a red card. 21-year-old man, not very old, 21. When he could return to this country, this is the newspaper articles were put into the papers. Okay? The next one. Outside a pub in London. 
that was put up. The country didn't accept what he had done. Three seconds of madness, he lashed out. He kicked Diego Simeone, who's now manager of Atletico Madrid. He kicked him, he got a red card. Three seconds of madness, and he is hated. Now, David Beckham had children. He received death threats to himself and to his kids for those three seconds. He just made a mistake. He lashed out a moment of temper, okay? And that's what he's received, okay? He also had this. There he is, that's the man he kicked. This man later came out to say, yeah, I played up for that red card. I pushed the ref to give him a red card. I wanted David Beckham off that pitch. Okay? Three seconds of madness. Loss of temper, and that is what happened. Everyone in the country hates him. Not everyone, but the people who hate him, they're sending death threats to his family for three seconds. Crazy. Next one, please. Okay. This man on the left, anyone tell me who he is? <laughs> Alex Ferguson. Now, Alex Ferguson is a big part of David Beckham's uh, life. Alex Ferguson was the first person to ring him to say, do not worry about it, David. Okay? Don't worry, you've made a mistake. I promise you, I will support you. That's what he said to him. He was also supported by his family. There. Okay? 21 for three seconds of a mistake. That's all it was, to be hated. Alex Ferguson played him, first Premier League game of the season. For those few games that season, everywhere David Beckham went, he was booed on a football pitch. Every time he touched the ball, he was booed. 21 years old, okay, for three seconds. The year after, 99, was probably the best year for football in my life. I'd just gone to university, I'm in Sheffield, I'm studying my degree. But at times I didn't study, I went to watch this. Anyone tell me what this trophy is? Champions League. Man United that season won the treble. Okay, David Beckham lifts Champions League. Supported by Alex Ferguson. Okay? 2001. Two minutes to go. Sheringham going for this one up early. And uh, by doing that, sometimes you get that sort of decision. Thanks to Konstantinidis, who... Feels very hard done by. No, they're not happy, was it? Konstantinidis. This is two minutes to go. Well, the one thing you be sure there ain't many chances coming along after this. Well, with players like David Beckham, you do feel there are certain moments of destiny. Arguably the most recognisable footballer in the world. Yes! Yes for England! Okay. David Beckham has done it big time! What do you reckon the newspapers wrote about him in 2001? Beckham, yeah, he's made sure that the England are going through. Okay, what do you reckon they wrote? Do you think people wrote about him being a stupid little boy that was on there? Return from a dark moment, I like that one. Okay, he becomes a national hero. Okay. Year after, anyone tell me what that trophy is? Is it the Ballon d'Or? No. Nope. Sports Personality of the Year. You've done really good this morning. Truth for you. Okay, he wins Sports Personality of the Year. And we all know his career has gone on to achieve unbelievable things. And he still does that for charities. I think he supports probably about 30 charities. He's had an unbelievable career. But this morning, why am I talking to you about this? I'm not talking to you about football. I'm not talking necessarily about David Beckham. What I am talking about is this. In this room, we are all human beings. Every single one of us will make a mistake. Some of us are going to make mistakes today. We do, don't we? We mess up.
whether that's at home, at school, wherever that may be, we mess up. Now, there are times where we have a three-second thought, yeah, like David Beckham, and we have to make a decision on how we react when we make a mistake. David Beckham kicked out. Some of us in the room will say, what, man? When a teacher just asks you to do a really simple thing. Some of us will be rude to our parents, the people who provide everything for us. And we all do it. I still do it. I snapped at my mother Saturday morning and says, I've asked you four times. And then I reflected and went, she's 65, what are you doing? <laughs> do you know what I mean? She can't hear you, she's deaf. Chill out. I'm a human being, I make mistakes. What I wanted to get across this morning is this. We all make mistakes. But what is the magic word that can get us out of the trouble? No, sorry. This word I don't hear enough. The first thing I said to my mum when I snapped out Saturday morning over a coffee was, Mum, look, I'm really sorry. Shouldn't have done that. Matter dropped. And I just want you to just take this from this assembly. Three seconds, the word sorry. We all make mistakes. Three seconds and we all make a mistake. Those words will put lots of things right. Not those words, that word. I ask you to reflect this morning. And when we get it wrong, use those words. That's it. That's my assembly this morning. I wanted to thank the majority for, for listening. And thank you for, for giving me the time, Miss Mewis, Miss Jones, uh, in coming to the assembly. I hope you've enjoyed it. I wish you all a lovely day today. Miss, I'll hand over to you.